So let's talk about magnetic domains. All right, now we need to start off with a very important word that tells us how important magnetic fields are to a certain substance. And that word is ferromagnetic. If you have a material that is ferromagnetic, then what that means is that its atoms have fairly strong magnetic fields associated with them. All right, now what that means is that magnetic forces are gonna tend to try to push those magnetic moments, the little magnetic fields that are associated with each of the atoms or molecules of the substance, it's gonna try to align them all together. So, what we usually have in a ferromagnetic material at an ordinary temperature is something that looks like this. The atoms that are right next to each other will tend to align in a certain direction. And we'll get these magnetic domains that are associated with magnetic fields that are essentially all in the same direction. Now, notice that we've got neighboring domains that don't have magnetic fields in the same direction. And that's because the temperature is too high to allow everything to fully, fully align. If I want a permanent magnet, though, I need everybody fully aligned. So what I'll do is I'll apply an external magnetic field like this. And what that will do is it'll just kind of switch the orientations so that they align more with this external magnetic field. And that's the idea. That's how we magnetize a permanent magnet. Nice external magnetic field. Switch it so that the magnetic domains become larger and larger and larger and then we get our nice permanent magnet. That's called a ferromagnetic phase transition. All right, now let's look a little bit more carefully into the way that this takes place. So, at high temperatures, we've got lots of randomness going around. The, the atoms have too much energy to really listen to what the magnetic fields want them to do. So we're gonna get a random orientation and lots of these very, very, very tiny magnetic domains. All right, at very low temperature, on the other hand, the atoms and molecules of the material don't have enough energy to fight with the magnetic field. So they're just going to align. And they'll even do that on their own. Even if I don't um, impose an external magnetic field, they'll just align with themselves as long as it's cold enough. The temperature that distinguishes between these two things is called the the Curie point temperature. And this phase transition that takes us from a permanent magnet to a non-permanent magnet with just kind of random orientations of these magnetic moments is called the Curie transition. All right, so let's just talk real quickly about the two major types of ferromagnetic materials. We've got a hard ferromagnetic material in which the alignment will stay. If a material is a hard ferromagnet, then if I impose this magnetic field, uh, this external magnetic field, then all of the magnetic domains will coincide. And then if I take that magnetic field off, I'll still have a magnetic field. And that's this permanent magnet. All right? So these are like these ceramic magnets, refrigerator magnets, all those things are hard ferromagnetic materials. Now, what about a soft ferromagnetic material? It's still ferromagnetic, so that means that it's still going to interact largely with the magnetic field. But it's not going to be as loyal to any specific direction of the magnetic field. So this is like iron, you know, like paper clips, steel, refrigerator doors, right? Why does a magnet stick to a refrigerator door? I mean, if I take two magnets and put them next to each other, sometimes they'll stick and sometimes they'll repel. But if I take a permanent magnet, put it on a refrigerator door, then take it off and turn it around, put it back on the refrigerator door, there's no repulsion. That's because the refrigerator door will just do whatever the external magnetic field tells it to do. It's a soft ferromagnetic material. So that means that 
it's still at this kind of random orientation. The magnetic domains will align if I have an external magnetic field, but if I take that external magnetic field away, they don't care anymore. Maybe they'll stay aligned for a little while, and you've probably seen this on a screwdriver, right? You've got those little screwdrivers where uh, it'll hold a screw, but it's not real strong. It's a really, really, really kind of weak magnetic field. And that's because that screwdriver uh, base is made of iron, which is a soft ferromagnet. You can make it a, a little bit of a magnet, all right? And it'll stay just kind of a tiny bit. But if you try to take another magnet and put it there in opposition to what its magnetic field was, it'll just drop what it was doing and listen to the new magnetic field. So that's the difference. Soft ferromagnet, hard ferromagnet. Permanent magnets, these are just magnetic materials like refrigerator doors. And that's magnetic domains.